Oh, I've got an actual camera now. Hi everyone, my name is Billy and I'm a silly and this is Billy is a Silly and today I'm talking about my Polaroid. I have a Fujifilm Insta Mini 7S and I got this as a graduation present but you can just pick one up at Walmart. Mine was like $80 and they come in a variety of colors but mine's just plain white. Drop something. They come in a variety of pastel colors. I, I kind of want to get another one just for the color variations, but then again, I could just color over this. This is what the film cases. It's backwards. This is what the film cases look like. They come in these. They're like twenty dollars a pack, and they come with two packs of these little film things. To load the film, you just open the back compartment right here. There we go. And I already had one in there, but and then you just insert it. Make sure that the back part right here with these two little things is in there. Just gently slide it in there and close it. And to turn it on, you just have to do that. And when this little red thing turns green like that, then it's ready to take a picture. When you first put in the film, it's not going to immediately take a picture. You have to... get the cover of the film off. This is the cover of the film. And now you're ready to take a picture. Um, there's four settings up here. And it tells you what it is on the back. That's uh, indoor. Hold on. There we go. That's indoor, cloudy, fine and clear. And depending on what kind of picture you're taking, set it to that one. But whenever you turn it on, it's always on the indoor section. And to just change it, you do that. But whenever you turn it back off, it goes back to the indoor section. So every time you turn it off, be careful to remember where the setting is, because I forgot to do that sometimes in my Polaroids come out really washed out. After you insert the film, be sure to not pop open the back here because if you already have film inserted and, if you, and you've already taken pictures, you might not know how many pictures you have left because it resets the counter and when you take a picture after you've popped open the back, it will come out blank. I learned that the hard way. It takes four double A batteries in here and I'm pretty sure the battery life is really good for this I haven't had to change the batteries yet but then again I hardly ever take pictures with it so I'm not sure yet. here uh, these are a few of my favorite Polaroids I'm about to show you a lot of them I take a lot of aesthetically pleasing Polaroids I guess I'm not really into I don't take pictures of front now this is a sunset picture I took near my house on a sort of cloudy day here. And this one is of the sand. This one is of a palm tree once we were outside the restaurant. This is of the pier. And then of the water and horizon. Sometimes if you don't set your Polaroid to the right setting, it can come out washed out or too dark or something along the, those lines. For example, I took a picture, I was trying to take a picture of my shoes I got at Target, but I didn't set it on the right setting and it came out white, washed out. And this is it on the regular setting. It was really sunny outside, so I had to set it on the right one. Here we go. Another mistake one. I forgot to put it on the right setting. Washed out. This one isn't too washed out. I still like it. It was of the treetops at the park, but I guess I didn't set it on the exact setting I needed. I still like it. 
And this one I think I took by an accident or something. I didn't mean to take it. That's off my feet right there. A wire. I think when you touch Polaroids, sometimes it can come out white right there when they're developing. Um, the little package that it came in said not to shake the Polaroids, but I always do and they always come out just fine. As long as they're not like whipping it, I think it should be fine. Altogether, I'm taking a good chunk of pictures and I plan to take a whole lot more. Thanks for watching guys. Um, subscribe if you want to. I make new videos every Saturday and if you have any suggestions just leave them in the box below. The comments box below. On there. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe if you want. I make new videos every Saturday. If you have any suggestions leave them in the comments box below and I'll think about making a video about it. Bye!